As we correctly rumoured months ago, DJI has just released the Mavic 2 Enterprise, but what's different about it in comparison to the baseline Mavic 2? Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On, and yes, DJI has released yet another model, but this one does actually fit in quite nicely. It's not just a space saver. The emergency services, government, health and safety, and search and rescue are all really taking drone use seriously now. And they are actually starting to invest in drone departments and in drones. And that's exactly where the Mavic 2 Enterprise fits in as probably an affordable entry level way to get flying. The Mavic 2 Enterprise is pretty much based on the Mavic 2 Zoom, therefore you get your 12 megapixel camera as well as a 2x optical and 3x zoom. Besides that, the core difference is this special little hatch on top, which allows you to attach a various number of accessories. Now, right now there's only three, but I think this has opened up a lot of future potential. Now we did run through some of these in our rumor video, but basically the first add-on is a speaker attachment. Now you might think, why the hell would you want to attach a speaker onto a drone? Well, when a drone is in hover, actually the Mavic range are incredibly quiet. Therefore a speaker, certainly a loud speaker like this one, is gonna be really effective. Imagine you've got somebody trapped on a cliffside. You can't easily reach or access them, but emergency services are on their way. Well, this is the first time that we'll be able to fly an aircraft to that person and at least tell them that help is on the way via the loudspeaker. Other uses include crowd control. What a nice way to get the attention of a crowd by flying a drone with a competent operator, of course, above that crowd and communicating to them via that speaker. There are two ways you can announce audio as well. You can record it live, which allows you about 60 seconds each time, or you can pre-record a set. So you could have, as an agency, a pre-recorded set of sound clips that, via a click of a button, get played over that speaker. The next one is very simple, it's a twin spotlight. Now there are advantages there as well. If you're flying in pitch black, you won't be able to see a thing unless you've got an infrared camera or night vision of some sort. So with the spotlight, not only can you highlight an area of ground if you're searching for something or someone, but also it'll give your drone itself some additional lighting so that you can navigate a little bit easier. Finally, there's the safety beacon. This is basically a white flashing light on top of the drone, which is gonna alert the presence of your drone to other aircraft share in the sky. Not that exciting, really. So beyond the additional accessories that are available for this drone, there are some interesting features as well, such as a new technology from DJI called AirSense. This uses a new technology called ADS-B, which is basically a way of aircraft in the sky alerting each other to their presence. And the Mavic 2 Enterprise has an inbuilt sensor, so it can pick up these signals and therefore alert the operator if there's another full-size manned aircraft in the same area. Another very basic one, it's got 24 gig of onboard storage instead of eight gig. So you're gonna be far less dependent on SD cards when you're flying the drone and capturing videos and photos. Now this is a really nice feature, self-heating batteries. We all know that if you fly lithium polymer or even lithium ion batteries in very cold climates, that they don't perform as well. And so generally the advice is to keep those batteries in your pocket or to warm them up before you fly. But that's a bit archaic in this day and age, isn't it? But basically the batteries will heat themselves up to an optimal temperature and therefore it means you'll get optimal flight time and performance. It will be interesting to see whether these batteries are backwards compatible to the original Mavic 2. If they are, I would imagine there will still be quite a premium on the price of them. We don't know how much they're going to cost yet. Finally, a big fuss has been made about GPS timestamping on video and photo. This has been around for a long, long time, even on the SLR camera that I'm using to film this now, which has a built-in GPS and can hard stamp that data onto the image. So I guess in terms of security and police force use, that could be useful for evidentiary purposes. Before you can fly the Mavic 2 Enterprise, you need to authenticate. That's gonna be useful in terms of securing data. Beyond that, it's a nice add-on, I guess. So that's it from the Mavic 2 Enterprise. I'm sure that we will see a lot more. Already there are numerous videos online from DJI and DJI support showcasing how to use some of the accessories and we'll probably see some reviews very soon as well. We don't know quite how much it costs yet. That will probably also be coming out very soon. In the meantime, 
Comment below with your thoughts about the Mavic Enterprise 2. Click that link in the video description to read more and to see the exclusive videos from DJI. Finally, smash that subscribe button if you appreciate this content. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.